bleeding edge subscribers hopefully you guys are doing well so look if you read the headlines yesterday you might actually be pretty impressed cnbc said intel unveils latest ai chip as nvidia competition heats up forbes proclaimed intel launches gaudi 3 with impressive gen ai performance and tip rank said intel brings the fight to nvidia these headlines followed when Intel unveiled their Gaudi 3 AI accelerator chip yesterday. And the financial news media did what they do best. They simply read a press release from Intel and regurgitated it. It, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if some of these articles and headlines were simply plugged into ChatGPT and, and cranked out for you, the investor, to read. The truth is, if you believe Intel's press release at face value, like the financial news sites did, you'd actually believe Intel might have a legitimate competitor to NVIDIA's dominance. But to borrow a phrase coined by a former president, that would be fake news. Intel claims their Gaudi 3 chip delivers 50% on average better inference capabilities and 40% on average better power efficiency than the H100 made by NVIDIA at a fraction of the cost. Now that last part is believable. Because NVIDIA has been printing impressive 80% gross margins ever since the A100 and H100 AI computer chip became hot commodities in the tech world. But is the Gaudi 3 really a bleeding edge AI computer chip that is set to take market share from NVIDIA? If you believe Intel's benchmarks and the press release at face value, you might actually think that's the case. But diving into the detail shows Intel is still more than a step behind NVIDIA in terms of performance. Intel claimed their new Gaudi 3 chip delivers 50% faster time to train on average across Llama 2 models with 7 billion and 13 billion parameters. Llama 2 is one of the most popular open source large language models that was developed and trained by Meta, the parent company behind Facebook and Instagram. However, the fact that Intel signaled out the 7 billion and 13 billion parameter model for training and not the larger 70 billion parameter llama model really tells you everything that you need to know. The fact that Gaudi 3 can cruise through the smaller 7 billion and 13 billion parameter models better than the Nvidia chip really isn't all that surprising. Similar to how a Honda would perform equally as well as a Ferrari driving around the neighborhood streets at 35 miles per hour it's not a surprise Intel could meet or exceed NVIDIA's performance. The fact that Intel didn't tout the chip's performance on the larger parameter model for the compute intensive training task is the same reason Honda doesn't claim it can outperform a Ferrari on a freeway or a racetrack. Another aspect to these benchmarks that the financial media just failed to single out is the fact that the Llama 2 model is about to become obsolete. That's because Meta announced today that the company's latest Llama 3 large language model is expected to be released in the next few weeks. So by the time the Gaudi 3 chip comes to market, most AI companies will be training on a new model by then. But the idea Intel is ready to bring the fight to Nvidia is even more laughable when you take to account Intel's comparisons were for Nvidia's H100 GPU. Last month, NVIDIA announced the successor to the H100 GPU. It's going to be called the GB200. NVIDIA claims the newest GB200 chip is 30 times faster than the H100 for inference and four times faster for training. NVIDIA claims that instead of running large language models with billions of parameters, the new GB200 chip will be capable of running trillion parameter models. The reality is NVIDIA has been well out in front of the entire semiconductor industry when it comes to accelerated computing, AI, data center chips, and it's not just Intel that is lagging way behind. If the financial news media had any interest in actually informing you rather than just regurgitating Intel claims, they would actually tell you this. But the truth is, and the reality is, Intel's problems don't just end with NVIDIA. The fact Intel is at least a step behind NVIDIA really doesn't surprise anyone with some knowledge about the semiconductor industry. 
The reality is Intel's financials paint a picture of a semiconductor company really in a desperate situation. The company's data center business, which includes sales of previous generation Gaudi chips, is down 20% over the past year. And it's not just Nvidia eating Intel's lunch with higher performance data center GPUs. At one time, Intel was the gold standard for CPU computer chips in PCs and in data centers. But for years, AMD has been capturing market share in both of these areas. But it gets worse for Intel because further competition is coming. Google's announcement of its Axion processors really didn't get much attention from the financial press this week. But these ARM-based CPU chips are designed to replace Intel's x86-based CPU chips in data centers. Not only is Intel several laps behind NVIDIA, but the company is falling behind in its bread and butter CPU business as well. The bottom line is over the next couple of weeks, there are going to be thousands of press releases related to AI. It's the financial news media's job really just to rewrite them with the most clickbait and interesting headlines possible. They're not really trying to inform you. But just understand, to get a true idea of what is actually happening, you have to dive into the details. The reality is, Intel is well behind its peers across the board, and it's a company whose best days are well behind them. That was the Bleeding Edge for today. We'll be back again later this week. Bye for now.